Thanks for being here. Thank you, Mark, for all you do. Uh, Remote Ray Publisher of ZoneOfGenius.com. Can you talk about the aspect of making uncomfortable decisions that most people around you may disagree with or may feel hurt? And then, to kind of second part, do you or should you telegraph that, communicate that after it's gone, after it's playing, this is to explain, this is why I did it? Can you talk about that? says to me, to thine own self be true. And I, at some point, developed, I guess, a reputation as being an authentic leader. And it was um, not something that I crafted, but because as a leader, I thought people should know why I made certain decisions, whether you agree with me or not agree with me. Uh, you know, we can, we can respectfully agree to disagree. But I think when you are leading people, people do need to understand your thinking so that even when they don't agree with you, they can at least understand how you got there. It doesn't mean that you have to tell it all, um, but I do think there's a responsibility of a leader to, to be communicative. Because one of the other valuable lessons I learned is that there, when there is a void of information, it's not going to go unfilled. People are going to fill it with something. Whether it's true, whether it's not true, whether it's what they believe or speculate, they are going to feel that void. So I think as a leader, it's better if you are able to tell your story and explain your story than allow someone else to. Thank you so much.